Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Will the Collector here back with another video review. What have I got for you today, kids? None other than the what was going to be the PowerCon 2020 exclusive Mythic Legions Lord Dragul. What happened? COVID-19. So I was able to uh, purchase him as well as Darina Onaris online uh, when they were available. I believe they were available over the weekend, what was supposed to be PowerCon. Uh, the four horsemen were gracious enough to allow us fans to get a hold of them as we did a virtual uh, con that weekend that was uh, put on by the folks at PowerCon. And I was um, there for a couple panels watching. And then we had a very nice uh, after party event, which I, I couldn't have been happier to have been a part of. But, anyways, on to the figure himself. Here he is in his nice recardable figure. The uh, thing about uh, Mythic Legions is you can just. Slide him in and him out, and in case you wanted to keep him on package, we all know I don't. But here he is. There's a side shot in his faction. Uh, here's the front, the side, with his bio. An ancient vampiric war hero hearkening back to the days of Baron Valagar's rise. Lord Dragul has spent ages scheming to put himself in a position of power when he has... When was when he was passed over in favor of Valagar's daughter, Lucrita, a bitter Dragul chose to feign loyalty while, let's see, serpentuously continuing his pursuit advancement, the pursuit of advancement. I'm oh, sorry, Lucrita, uh, being quite aware of Lord Dragul's resentment sought to keep him safely at arm's length by taking him with the recruitment of soldiers in the Northlands. Unbeknown to both Lucrita and Valigar, Jargul is secretly assembling a motley army of brigands, brigands and cutthroats who share his ultimate aim of overthrowing the, vamp the Vampire Kingdom. Oh my... Sorry, it's very fine print. But again, we get a bio. We get something that sells you a little bit more than just like, hey, they like fish or something like that. I'm making fun of, uh, obviously, Marvel Legends because you used to get good bios and now we don't. Anyways, uh, card art done by the very talented Nate Barch. Uh, front and back there. Very, very nice man. Always fun to talk with. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and when I come back, I'm going to have him out with his accessories and we'll take a closer look. Be back. And we're back, folks, and I gotta tell you, wow. I mean, wow. I mean, Denora was was pretty special, was pretty awesome. She still is. I mean, she's just great. But for me, a Hordak homage figure, I mean, come on. And who better to give you a Hordak homage figure than the Four Horsemen who, uh, in the Classics line, did such a great job, I felt like. Now, granted, I didn't have an original Hordak. Uh, my brother did when we were kids, and... I just always felt like Skeletor was bad. Hordak was something different. I mean, just, you know, and again, I don't know why. I just, I was more drawn to a Hordak. I was just more drawn to the Hordak. Like, I could just sense that, just that sinister evil. Like, he's just going to pull your heart out and eat it right in front of you. You know, Skeletor's going to take everything from you. Yeah, imprison you, throw you, you know, put, put you in dungeon, throw away the key, all that other stuff. But just, Hordak was just, oh, more vile, I feel. But anyways, back to the figure at hand. I've got him out here and all of his accessories. You know what? I'm going to take a look at the accessories first. I'm, and I, what I didn't do last time was I didn't just focus on the accessories. I just quickly put everything on her. And, but let's not uh, do that this time. I'm going to start out with, uh, of course, he comes with a uh, another strap to where he can sheathe a sword, which I don't think he can. I thought I dropped something out of the package, and I can't find out where that went. So um, uh, I know he comes with his... Axe, which is very well. To, oh, that comes right off. That's pretty cool. It's like, is that supposed to be like an imp's head or something? Let's zoom in there so we can get a kind of look at that. Again, just look at that detail. You know, as I. The paint is always top notch. Again, the details are always top notch. You know. 
and that comes right off in case you want to do something different. I don't know which figure this initially came with. I think I might have one or two sitting over there on the shelf. I couldn't tell you. I've gotten, you know, when you're peaking 3,000 figures, you know, it's kind of hard to keep it all together. Did I get an arrow? No. Maybe there was an arrow in there. Here's his crossbow, which again is an homage because a lot of the horde um, came with crossbows. And this has uh, been given out with a few of the Mythic Legion characters that I have. And that is just always a neat accessory. I mean, they, you know, even put a string in with it, which I'm always appreciative. I hate getting a bow and having the plastic in there. And I get that, you know, they don't want little kids uh, shooting each other's eyes out. And I totally understand that being a father myself. But, you know, when these are going straight in the hands of collectors, you know, that's always nice to have. He comes with his shield which i believe this uh came out in the 2.0 wave this is the elven shield let me back this up a little bit take a look at this you know that's just such a nice paint job i'm a sucker for red and black always a sucker for red and black and it comes with a handle right there that's always good he comes with his shoulder pauldrons i think they're called and those are done very well very nice. Got nice uh, black gray, some silver right here, which is always, again, always nice. He comes with his very nicely cut cape. I mean, every other cape I think I've gotten is just a, you know, a square or rectangular, but this is cut. There's no way you can't say that's not a Hordex cape. Or, I'm sorry, Lord Dragul. And... Man, look at this head. That is just such a beautiful vampiric head sculpt. Very, very nice. Which was the first one of my characters that comes with this one? Is he part of the 2.0 wave? Sorry, I have to go through my previous cards. Oh, that's right. Carpathius. He was one of my, I think he was like the second or third Mythic Legion I'd ever bought. Um, missing out on the 1.0 wave when they first went through Kickstarter. Or was it pre-orders? Kickstarter. I think it was through Kickstarter. And I missed out on those and I was just kicking myself because I paid, I paid some premium prices for some, for, for some, uh, getting some of those initial first runs and Luckily, the Horsemen have released uh, some all-star waves, and I hope they continue to do so in the future to get us some of those much-wanted second chances um, and some of those figures. I don't grab all of them. I grab the ones I'm like, man, that's just so... I'm going to zoom back in on that because it's just such a pretty head sculpt. I mean... And again, I've seen some customizers make some other uh, vampire heads, um, but... You always love your first. Anyways, let's get him with his accessories on. Let's see. Um, well, let's look at the figure himself. Okay, so there he is. Again, nice paint scheme. Very reminiscent of Hordak. Um, more akin to, I want to say, more of the animated style because he's got that bluer skin to where the classics figure had like more of the gray skin. I like this. This is just, I mean, this is just so well done. This blue is so gorgeous. And again, I go back to the first Mythic Legions I ever bought, which was the PowerCon 2016 exclusive, which was Unken. I mean, it's this, other than this and the head, I think maybe the uh, the, the neck joint is going to be different. Other than that, he's got the same uh, chest piece. He's got the same gauntlets, same gloves, same uh, skirt piece, same front sash piece there, just painted differently. Same uh, thighs, obviously. It's all that's all 1.0. Uh, same boots, you know. Same shins, same feet, and you know, here it is, four years later, and it's still working for me. So I'm gonna person swap this head out. Okay. Now, the one thing I will say is I don't like this neck peg, and the reason I don't. Is because I felt it was a little thin. They might have, this might have been molded out a little bit more substantial. Uh, you know, I don't know if it, they they changed it all, but uh, 
I think my Keldus um, stressed a lot when I was popping and swapping heads. But I want to get this head on there. And that should pop on. Relatively nice for a shake my whole table part. There we go. Well, not much moving on it though. A little bit. Again, probably some heat, you know, on the head, pop it down on the ball, move it around a little bit more just so you get some good clearance. I'll do that later after this review. There we go. The articulation's pretty much what you expect, you know. There's the shoulder, elbow cut, single jointed elbow, um, forearm swivel wrist swivel, hinge at the, the hand so you get that, that in and out. Um, he's got waist joint, which is really, really nice. I love this chest piece. Just love that chest piece. I mean, I've, I've, I've got one, two, three, one, two, three figures up here with it right now, and it's just, it's so well done, so well done. Let's see, he's got... Legs can go out. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Better than Marvel Legends Spider-Man. <laughs> and come down. He's got a thigh swivel. Single jointed knee. With a swivel. Because they are just awesome in their engineering. And he's got ankle pivot with a rocker. And a swivel. And again, you can take this figure completely apart at every single joint, which is awesome. I don't do that that often because, I, I mean, I get a Mythic Legion figure, I normally like him the way he is, or she. Um, but some other people, um, again, a lot of customization options with this line. And the only one I did uh, differently, I think, was Pixis, really. I bought Pixis and another... Uh, another male buck figure just to make him that humanoid gladiator like Vitus because they made Pixis skeletal which again wasn't my bag I'm all for those who want that um, I, I'm, I'm just more akin to humanoid figures I couldn't tell you why Get his the shoulder armor on. There we go. There we go. We have his axe here. Yep, I had to, had to pull that off camera real quick and just kind of pop that more on. And put a shield on there. And there he is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just a beautiful figure. Love Mythic Legions. Love, 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 love Mythic Legions. If you haven't gotten any Mythic Legions, I can't tell. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean, I always say collect what you want to collect is your collection, but man, at least put your hands on some of them. Uh, they are just, again, for me, the the tip top of, of collecting because they're just so much imagination goes into these guys and gals. Um, they, I know they mentioned Galactic Legions, which I just cannot wait for. The idea of the Four Horsemen doing a, you know, space theme line, just, oh, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. I will be happy to be along for that ride. But anyways, let's do some comparisons real quick. Here he is with who he is designed towards, and that's Hordak himself. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, if I do say so myself. 
could have used a couple different, uh, you know, of course there's no, oh no, I mean they got a, they got a dragon on top there, it would have been cool to have a bat, I think, you know, but other than all, I think it's just a very nice homage figure, you can see where, uh, certain points to where it hits, actually let me pause this, I'm gonna go get somebody else real quick, and we're back, and boom, that's where it, you know, that's where it really sinks home. I mean, that's good. That's cool. But that's where it really pays off. Just more of that animated style. Which, again, you just see the skin tones. You know, the face. You know, again, this is probably one of my favorite Kordak figures. But there they are. Let's go ahead and take them out. Bring in his exclusive mate, Dorina. So there we have it, folks. The Paracon 2020 exclusive, Mythic Legions, Lord Dragul. And again, his uh, his con mate, Dorina. You know, if you got your uh, hands on these two figures... You will not be disappointed. If you haven't opened them up by the package, that's just how you collect. So again, collect how you want to collect. I've got to open up these bad boys and girls, get them out of their plastic prisons, and go hands-on with them. You know, again, just very, very happy with this guy. Again, going to heat up that head, pop it loose, let it roll around a little bit. But as always, boys and girls, if you like this video, throw a like on there. Feel free to share and please subscribe. And like always, take care of one another and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.